Hello dear students, here are two important factorization problems which are often confused by the students. Now when they learn factorization by splitting the middle term, they are not clearly told how to split the middle term of irrational middle term. This is root 2 in the coefficient of x. Likewise in this question we have square root of 3 and square root of 3 in the first term that is coefficient of x square and in the constant term. So how do we factorize these expressions or polynomials using method of splitting the middle term. Now see in the first question the middle term is minus root 2. So we need to have two numbers whose sum is minus root 2 and whose product is the product of, of the first and last that is 6 and minus 2 which is minus 12. Now one thing to remember in such questions is that if the middle term contains a square root sign and the product does not contain a square root sign like here, the middle term split of this number will contain square root 2 in both the factors in which the middle term will be split. So we need to have root 2 preceded by something and root 2 preceded by something. Now if you see root 2 and root 2 they will come surely and root 2 into root 2 is 2 so we have already got a factor 2 and the product has to be minus 12 so 12 divided by 2 is 6 so we need 6 more and 6 has factors 3 and 2 so clearly 3 root 2 and 2 root 2 these have to be the factor in which the middle term has to be split let's see 6x square now minus means the larger one will be negative and greater one uh, smaller one will be positive so minus 3 root 2x plus 2 root 2x minus 2. And now in these two terms we can take 6 and 3 means 3 common. So we will have a root, uh, root 2 here and in these two we have 2 common. So if you take 3 common in this, this will be okay 3 and another x is also common. So we will have x also and 2x minus root 2. Likewise here 2 common and if you take 2 common then this will be root 2x minus 1. And now you see in the brackets we have different terms and whenever we have different terms then we need to rectify this because our intention is to get the same term in the brackets. It happens only when we have left out a common factor. Now here we don't have a common factor but here 2 and root 2, 2 can further be split into root 2 into root 2. So another root 2 is common from this bracket which will come out like this 3 root 2 x and if you take root 2 out this will be root 2 x minus 1 and now you see the brackets are same thereby giving you the first factor as the bracket portion and the second factor as the portion which is out of the bracket. This is the factorized form of the expression. So this is the method you need to follow when there is a square root sign in the middle term. Now take a question in which the square root is on in the first and third not in the middle term. Now here you need two terms a and b whose sum is 5 and product is now see multiply this 4 to the 8 and root 3 into root 3 is 3. So 8 into 3 24 so negative of 24. Now first of all let us split uh, the middle term. Now see 8 minus 3 is 5 and 8 into 3 is 24. So middle term split is very easy. 4 root 3 x square plus 8 minus 3. Now let's see how to take common. Now clearly in these two terms 4x is common so leaving behind root 3x plus 2 and in these two terms negative is there and among 3 and root 3 you can take a root 3 common. So we will have 1 root 3 left here along with x and negative is already taken out so this will be positive and root 3 is taken out so this 2 will be there. Now you see the bracket is same so root 3x plus 2 will be the first factor and 4x minus root 3 will be the second factor. Comparatively easy problem as compared to the first one and I am sure if you practice these two questions then lot of your problems of factorization will be solved. 
So if you like this video, do share it with all the students who are studying in class 8th, 9th who are learning these factorization methods and do not forget to subscribe the channel.